Hi guys, so I'm back for another Loom Band tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to be making these. So these are sometimes called Starburst bracelets or Daisy Chain bracelets. So they are really cute and they have a nice pretty border and then they have this star or flower design in the middle. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these today. So I'm collaborating with some amazing companies today. So the first is Search Press and you might recognise Search Press because I've done quite a few videos with them at my last Loom Band tutorial which was a very simple easy bracelet. I'll leave that in the description below if you want to go check that out. But this design is also from this book and it just comes with a bar bunch of different designs as well and it's got loads and loads of easy to follow guides so if you're interested in this book I will again leave all the links in the description so thank you so much Search Press for helping me out this video and also Beads Direct who are actually kind enough to give away one of these kits well this is mine so it's not as full as it used to be but this is the kit that you'll be winning so at the end of the video make sure you stick around and I'll let you know how you're going to win this so like I said all of the links are down below so go check out the people that sponsored this video because it was very kind of them so let's just get started so the things you're going to need for this tutorial is a hook a loom. I'm using four different colours but you can use whatever you like. You can use one colour, two colours. It's completely up to you and then you're also going to want some S clips or C clips. So to start this design you want the arrows on the loom to be facing away from you and we can get started. So first just take the colour that you want to be on the outside of the bracelet which is what I call the border. So I'm using this blue colour and what you want to do is go from the middle peg to the first left one like this. Then what you want to do is just carry on going one on top of the other all the way up the loom. When you get to the second to last peg you want to take it from the left one into the middle again. Now you just want to repeat this process on the opposite side of the loom. Now one tip that I do want to mention about this design is that it's quite intricate and there will be a lot of bands involved in this design. So my one rule about this design is every time you put a band down, push it further down onto the peg. So as you can see these are quite high up, so all you want to do is just put your finger in between them and push them down. So now we can work on our starburst design. So these are actually the pegs that we're going to be using and they look like this. So you can still sort of see a star or flower design in the middle. So take your first band, I'm using this pink colour. So all you want to do is take it from the middle to the second right, up like this. And then you just want to go clockwise in a circle all the way around and like I said, push it down every time you place one. So you should get something that looks like this and then you just move on to the next one. So you take your other colour, I'm using dark pink, and you go from the middle and you go up and to the right. Push it down. So after you've done that, you can see that we've got this nice design in the middle, so just carry that on all the way up the loom. So the next step in this design is to add a double band. Now if you don't know how to do a double band, all you want to do is take your band and turn it into a figure of eight, so that you've got two, if that makes any sense. You've got two bands, so you've just twisted it and you put it back on your finger. So now what you want to do is place these in the centre of all of your flowers. I'm using clear in this video so that you can see better what I'm doing on camera. If I was to do this design for a friend or something like that, I'd use the same colour as the flower that I'm working on. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I just wanted to make sure that you guys could differentiate between the different colours of bands. After you've put one in the centre of all of the flowers, you also want to put one right at the end. Now time for the fun part, so all you want to do is turn your loom around and we can start looming. So the main rule for this design, don't loom these double bands, you want to go in and under them. You never want to do anything with these double bands, they're just there to loom around so that the bracelet stays together. So step one in looming is you want to go under this double band, like I said you never want to loom that, you just want to go under and pick something up from underneath it. So you just want to pull it out, go under, take this pink one and bring it back to the centre. So this peg is the only one that you go from outside to in, the rest you go in to out and you'll see it repeats itself when you get onto the next flower. So now what you want to do is just repeat that process. So like I said, as you can see there's quite a few bands on here so just be very patient. But what you want to do is want to take the band from the centre and put it out and then band from the centre and put it out. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you just go under, you grab the band, you bring it out and back to the peg that it belongs to like that. 
So if you can't figure out which band you've got, just give it a little tug and you should be able to see that these move. It's depending on which one you have and it's better to do that than to move it and then realise you've got the wrong one and possibly start the whole design again. So I'll just show you what that looks like again. So under, grab the band and pull it out and bring it back to the peg it belongs to. So just carry on going round like that. This is the design we want, so there's sort of a gap around the middle peg where it's all been stretched and that's what you should be looking for. So it's exactly the same process on the next one. So you want to go from outside to in and pull it back to the middle and then go under the double band, grab the first band, pull it back, grab the second band, pull it back, third, fourth and then the last one fifth and as you can see you've got the same pattern as the first one so just repeat that all the way up the loom so now that the inside is loomed we need to make sure that the outside is loomed so again we're using the same technique so you want to go under this clear double band and you want to take the blue band from the left and bring it back over like that and then go under all of these bands take the bottom one and place it back on the peg it belongs to, like this. So I'll show you that again. Go under everything, take the bottom band, and take it back onto the peg that it belongs to. So just carry that on all the way up. So when you get to the last one, just take it and take it into the middle, of course. Now just repeat this onto the other side so that everything is symmetrical. So to take this design off, I take the colour that is the border and all you want to do is hook this all the way through the bands on the last peg and I'll show you a really easy way of doing this. So you can of course put this on your hook and then hook that through but what I actually find is really easy is if you actually just thread this through the inside of the last peg all the way down to the bottom, then what you want to do is just spin it like this, hold the top and hook round and grab it from the inside of the peg. So just gently remove it. I like to not just pull it because this, with this design, it's, there are too many bands to just pull it off. You sort of have to help it along with your hands. So once you've taken it off the loom, this is what you're left with. So don't let go of this end, otherwise it will all unravel. So unless you've got very, very tiny wrists, you will need an extension for this. So I will show you how to do that really simply right now. So again, I like to use the colour that I use for the border. So all you want to do is just really simply add about five or six bands to the loom, just going straight up from the middle. So this is going to be your last band. So what you want to do is just take that and put it on your loom. Very simply like this. Turn it around so that the arrows are facing towards you and simply loom up. So you go under and take it back. Under, take it back and then carry on. So there is your little extension. So before you take it off, what you want to do is grab an S clip and connect it to the last one. To do this, all I do is just stretch out the bands really far so they're nice and thin so it's really easy just to quickly connect an S clip just like that. And then you can pull it off and your bracelet is complete. So there's your little extension so you don't have to worry about it being too small for your wrist now. So after connecting the S clip to the other side of the bracelet you are finished. So this is such a fun design and you can do so much with it and just experiment with loads of different colours. So this is such a fun design. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll get on to the giveaway now. So this is the really exciting giveaway I was talking to you about at the beginning of the video. So this is what you're going to be winning. So you're going to be winning this loom band kit and you're also going to be winning an extra loom just in case you wanted to do a design that um, you need two looms for. So in this kit you do actually get a loom and a hook and you also get a bunch of other stuff. So 
there's just a list on the side so you get um, hooks and bands and clear S clips and coloured ones um, you also get a bunch of different bands which range from glittery metallic everything you could possibly want so yeah and you can make everything that I've made in this video using this kit and also my other video so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you're a subscriber of mine and then the second thing you have to do is comment down below and tell me if you haven't started loom banding why you want to start or if you do loom band why you love it so much don't forget to check out Beast Direct who are the lovely people that sponsored this giveaway and this video so thank you very much and also don't forget to go check out Search Press and this book so I will leave all the links in the description for you so go ahead and check them out also don't forget to check out all of my social media so my shop, my Twitter, my Instagram and my Facebook and if you click on the video on the screen right now it'll take you to the first tutorial I did which is a very simple loom band bracelet